And we are back on the Get Foxy show with Miss Kristen Winter. Thank you so much, Kristen, for taking the time to be with us today. We were talking a little bit before, and you, uh, you've got a full plate going on. You are a busy lady. Yes, yes, I am. That's correct. <laughs> Thanks, Terry, for having me. You bet. So we've got you on today because you are with the Vita Jewel Company, and this is a product that I just recently came across that uh, I felt would benefit my patients as, as an aesthetic and cosmetic facial acupuncturist. One of the things that uh, is really important that I stress for my patients is proper hydration. And yet also I've studied a little bit of Taoist stone medicine as taught by Jeffrey Yuen, who's a pretty well-known Taoist uh, priest. And there's, there's something to be said for this, uh, this gem-infused water. So how, how did you get involved with VitaJewel? And did, you just, did it just kind of land in your lap? Or how did you find out about this, Kristen? Well, it's kind of an interesting little story. So um, I have always been interested and fascinated by gemstones and crystals since I was really small. And my, some of my earliest memories is I would be attracted to different stones and crystals and I would um, be called towards them. So I would collect them, I carried them on me. Um, and then as I grew older, I noticed um, I got involved with yoga and meditation. Um, I started learning more about balancing chakras and how um, like everything has a certain energy about it. Um, and so I'm actually Canadian and, um, I, my girlfriend's the Canadian distributor for Vita Jewel. So a few years back, she got me onto drinking gem water and it seemed to be a perfect fit because I am very much into crystals and crystal naturopathic holistic methods. Um, and so once I made the switch, I just felt like I couldn't drink any other kind of water because I could connect to the crystals and stones, the different blends that Vita Jewel has, um, are all based on thousands of year old traditions. And so it seemed to be a perfect fit. So it's, um, definitely changed my life in a good way. It's the best tasting water. It tastes like spring water, but on the cellular level, it's the best quality of water for our bodies. So I'm assuming Vita Jewel's done some studies on this? Yeah, they have actually. And um, they've worked with different scientists that study um, the visuals of water once it's frozen. Um, Vita Jewel treated water to um, natural spring water. Um, the thing is, is that our water, unfortunately, we are not able to go and fill up from spring right in our backyards anymore due to pollution and how it's not safe anymore. Um, but when we filter water, we it's so highly filtered, it's, it essentially is like lifeless water. So it loses all that natural vibration and frequency from nature. Um, and so a lot of nature states that everything's vibrating at the molecular level. And we know that through science and we know that um, quartz and crystals and, and stones carry a natural frequency and vibration. Um, prime example is the invention of the quartz watch. It helps the watches tick. So we do know that it works. And so with Vitajoule treated water, um, the Eisen family had come up with um, a natural, like hygienic, sustainable way to enjoy gem water. It's more hygienic in the sense that um, putting crystals in water and infusing um, water with different crystals for elixirs actually dates back thousands of years to practice alone, um, but they would put the, the stones directly in the water. Um, now, some stones carry different heavy metals, they have dissolvable properties in them, and it's actually not safe to be ingesting that touching the water directly. So our products have a glass encompassed case that encase the crystals, and then the glass is a neutral property. So one of the biggest questions I always get is like, how does it do anything to the water when it's not touching the water? Well, the same way that sunlight and different other frequency and vibrations can pass through glass, it works the same with the crystals and stones. So if you're sitting inside on your sofa and you feel the sunlight on your arm and you're, how do you physically feel the heat if you're not outside? So it works kind of that same way. This, this technology is something you're right. That's, that's been used Geez, thousands of years. I know with the uh, teachings that I've received from reading uh, from 
I wish I could say I've had direct stone medicine training from Jeffrey Yuen, but uh, I've, I've had uh, experiences with him, but not on stone medicine. However, I've read the book of his teachings, and I mean, traditional Chinese medicine is 5,000 years old or more. I know, and it's this incredible. Is, this is something that's been passed down to them, I mean, from generation to generation to generation. And each stone, yeah, they would say has different properties to it, similar mm -hmm. in some cases to Chinese herbal medicine. Yeah. Um, each stone has kind of a, a flavor and a temperature and a way that it specifically affects the body. And you guys have taken the time to really kind of create these blends, if you will, of, of stones. And oh my gosh, they're beautiful. And yet at the same time, they have these, these therapeutic properties to them. Would you elaborate a little bit about some of these different blends? Yes. Um, well, typically, like, you know, Vital started over 10 years ago. So I'll just date back a little bit there. And okay. we're five years new in the U.S. So we happen to be touched, um, touch points in about 80 countries in the world, which is really incredible. Um, the head office is based in the German Alps, just near Munich. And then the U.S. office is in Concord, California, where I am today. Um, uh, we had... Before I got on board, there was um, a larger breadth of blends that we had. But as of January 2018, they narrowed it down to 12 blends. We continually vary and change things as um, trends go and um, the accessibility to different stones. So all the stones that we source are fairly traded gemstones from all over the world, from different shows and stuff like that. Um, and the different blends that we have, we have Wellness, we have, and that's our most popular blend, um, has Amethyst, Rose Quartz, and Clear Quartz. We typically like to put Clear Quartz in all of our blends because Clear Quartz as, acts as like an amplifier to the other properties and stones. Yes. We've got uh, five elements based on the Chinese healing traditions as well. Um, we've got Balance, Love, Vitality, Luna, uh, guardian, happiness, forever young, and we even have one with diamond slivers. It has four carats of diamond slivers in it. So. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so talk about getting some bling for your water. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't, I can't even imagine what diamond infused water must taste like. Uh, well, diamond is great. Is it is like the strongest stone out there. So they use diamond to cut other stones and, and whatnot. But diamonds properties is great for people even um, as an energizer and in replacement to like caffeine if you can't tolerate caffeine or something like that. You know, diamond water is very invigorating um, and it's a very strong, strong water. So. That's fascinating. Now, I'm assuming since you work for the company, of course, you're using the product. I am. I have it right here, actually. <laughs> oh, sure enough, right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always carrying it with me. I take it to yoga. I've even got my yoga studio turned on to carrying them the line in their store. Um, I take it to the gym. There's different accessories you can get. I don't have it on it right now, but there's different loops and things that can help you carry and hold it. Um, we've got a tea strainer. We even have a product for wine, actually, which is quite unique because um, Amethyst really does soften tannins and change the, the strength of the wine and helps it kind of open up um, quicker than if you were to decant it alone. So it's kind of quite cool for those wine drinkers. Out there. Nice. Now I'll have to pick one of those up. Yeah. <laughs> well, one, of our, one of our most recent products that we actually have, um, which I should probably mention, is our pet product. So... We just came out with a pet product called the Crown Jewel, and it's gem water for your four-legged royals. No kidding. Yeah, they wow. worked with different crystal um, healing experts and, and um, German veterinarians for about two years to come up with um, the perfect blend for pets. Doggone. Well, the reason I asked, I was kind of curious how you've noticed this uh, gym water and how it's affected your body because uh, as we were talking earlier it sounds like you're a pretty athletic and go get them kind of individual 
Yeah, yeah. Well, and I mean, we can never drink enough water. I find that we get busy and sometimes like I'm one of those ones that I don't really feel thirsty until I'm already dehydrated. Um, some people are just thirsty all the time. So it just, it's very individual and very unique. Um, what I notice, um, different qualities of water, and I know it sounds kind of cliche, but some water just seems to just run right through you. <laughs> and it doesn't seem to be like absorbing into your body or you're just kind of, you're drinking it, but you're not feeling like you're getting anything out of it. Um, when I drink Vita Jewel treated water, um, I feel like it just kind of goes a longer way for me. And um, carrying the bottle because it's of its beauty and it, it catches your eye, you honestly, you'll look at it and you'll reach for it more intuitively um, and you'll be ingesting and drinking more water in the end. So um, for me, I think that it's just helped with hydration, but also um, I pick different blends based on what I'm kind of needing in my life. And my first bottle that I ever had, the Via bottle um, that I owned, had um, Rainbow Moonstone um, and Clear Quartz. And so Moonstone is typically a stone that's a more feminine stone. Mm -hmm. um, increased my dreaming like and recollection of dreams, like I was dreaming like crazy. Um, but it was really balancing for me in that sense. And right now I'm drinking out of a blend that um, we don't carry in our 12, 12 blend line, but it has pistachio opal in it. And, and it was called our Euphoria blend. And I really have been enjoying that. And sometimes I switch to, um, so another favorite of mine is um, Forever Young, which is a nice blend. Um, yeah, I just, it, you just kind of intuitively know which ones you kind of want to switch to. Mm -hmm. So it definitely has made an impact on your life. I can certainly see looking at you on camera, of course, with the, with the folks listening through audio, you're not going to see Kristen's face here, but she is gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> just this beautiful yin feminine face, uh, very few lines and wrinkles. Um, so I would say that you, you look very well hydrated. And of course, hydration is something that we all need for our health. And so I'm guessing your energy level's pretty good too. Yeah, energy levels is directly um, affiliated with proper hydration for sure. Um, also focus, immune system, um, just quality of like your workouts, um, everything. I mean, our bodies are made up of more than half water. And actually at conception stage, it's about 99% water. And then as, we're, as we are born, we live a life. And as we age, we actually lose water content. So um, it is really important, the quality of water that you put into it. Amen to that. Out of the... Many people that Vita Jewel has served, have you heard of any really happy customers? Did they experience any amazing transformations in their lives from using your product? Well, I think uh, Vita Jewel um, definitely has quite the following. And um, I think that there's a lot of people that are into crystals and stones and more natural approaches um, as we live in such a heavy pharmaceutically run um, world at this point. Um, and I think that people are leaning a little bit towards more preventative instead of waiting until things are fully in chaos um, before they decide to like just go down the, the medical road of pharmaceuticals. Um, so I, I definitely know that we've had um, there was one woman actually when we, it was around Mother's Day, we ran a special um, for Mother's Day where we donated proceeds to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, which it is Breast Cancer Awareness right now, I think it's this month. Um, and she called in and she's a cancer survivor three times and she loves Vita Jewel. And Vita Jewel helped give her hope during really hard times of struggle when she was going through chemo, her connection to crystals, um, hydration, um, and good overall health um, was really um, something that she never wavered from during um, times of going through lots of different medical treatments to keep her um, in the state of remission or go back into remission. So um, her story was just so touching. Like she um, ended up having a lot of expenses 
um, due to, you know, her chemo treatments and then her house flooded once she got back in and then she, mm. it just was one thing after the next, but she had saved up money to rebuy bottles so she could be drinking Vitajul again. And we ended up sending her some, some gifts and, um, of product because we felt like it was so touching that she was so um, loving using our products and we could help her if we reached out. God bless you guys for that. I mean, that, that touches my, my home a little bit. Uh, I had a, uh, my, my oldest boy when he was five was diagnosed with leukemia and we went through that whole thing. And I was actually, uh, using a, another structured water type unit, but it, I mean, it, it makes a big difference. And I mm -hmm. wish I would have known about VitaJewel then because I definitely would have had him drinking yeah. uh, gem infused water because it just, it does, it makes a difference in, in the energetics. The stones vibrated a specific frequency, which then has an effect specifically on the water. You ingest that and it has an effect on your body. Yeah. It's, it's that easy. Yeah. But uh, doggone, God bless you guys for helping her out. Yeah, no, no, it, it was, it was our pleasure. Business. It was our pleasure. And the thing about Vitajul Water, like a lot of people ask too, and there might be some listeners today um, that are thinking, well, how does, does it filter the water? And, and the thing to be clear is it doesn't filter the water. Like you definitely have to use good quality water in it. Um, but your filtered water could be just kind of lifeless water. So um, when you think of natural spring water running over stones and rocks and kind of evaporating up in that whole natural cycle, um, you know, this, these crystals and stones put back that, that frequency and vibration, that energy, we say re-energizing the water um, into the crystals and stones. So stuff that you can't see from the naked eye um, is the fact that it can restructure the crystals to look like almost like a snowflake form. And that's what natural spring water looks like under a microscope. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> mm -hmm. It is amazing. And there's lots of other unique things, you know, that water has a capability of holding a memory to what it's exposed to. And if you believe it or not, I mean, it, it really does. Because if you put water on a stove and you heat it up and it boils, as soon as you take it off the stove, it, it doesn't just go by room temperature again. It holds that heat for a certain amount of time. So it can hold the frequency of the stones for the certain amount of time that you're in it. it the, the stones will always have the frequency. Um, it's just as you drink it, or if you pour it into a glass from one of our dec decanters, um, it can hold that frequency for a little bit of time as well for hours on end, so. Yeah, I'd heard, and I'm, I'm spacing the name of the Japanese researcher. Saro Emoto. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, incredible. Yeah, he studied water for over 30 years. And he um, he actually did, um, when he was alive, he did a lot of work with the owner of the Jewel. Oh, no kidding. Yes, he did. Yeah, and he did a lot of tests with Jewel treated water because he photographed um, water crystals that had been frozen. And he had wrapped positive words of affirmation around the bottles and and negative words and then compared the two and the results were outstanding. Yeah, I, I remember seeing photos of these different water crystals and the, the positive crystals that had been exposed to these positive words of affirmation uh, yeah. were like these beautiful multifaceted snowflake looking type crystals. Yeah. yeah. And then the negative water was frozen and I mean it just had all these sharp jagged and kind of asymmetrical edges yeah. to it and it, it made me think wow okay our bodies are made of 70 percent water or better yeah. and here we are with these different emotions these vibrations that we have yeah. to deal with and so wow what a way to use a product that could possibly change, help change our vibration, our attitude, our energy from the inside. And that's, yeah. that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get you guys on the show is because this is the Get Foxy Show. We want to help women feel and get foxy. <laughs> so speaking of that, I'd like to ask you the question I like to ask everybody, and that is, what does being foxy mean? mean to you, Kristen? 
Well, I was giving this a little bit of thought, um, and I think being foxy to me is a woman who um, has confidence and determination to kind of go after her goals. Um, a foxy woman um, doesn't lose sight of the long-term end of the result that she wants in her life. Um, she's willing to kind of go day to day and grind for the grind for it through the hard and tough times. I also think that she supports other women and helps other women keep on track and, and keep positive. So I think it's a woman that just brings a bit of light and sunshine to other people's worlds or her children or her family's world. Um, and that's attractive. So I think that that would be my definition of a foxy woman. You bet. Has there ever been a time in your life where you haven't felt so foxy and if so how did you reclaim it absolutely i think that um everybody can relate to not feeling as foxy as they'd like to feel um and i think for me it's just knowing what i need to keep as my daily rituals in my life if i drink gem water i practice yoga I go for runs and work out. I eat healthy food. Um, I try to make positive choices in my life to keep me on track so I can feel foxy longer or more consistently than not. Um, and then just knowing if you kind of get sidetracked or derailed from that, um, you just know you have to just get back on track and then focus on the things that are um, non-negotiables for your day-to-day -day, um, to keep you on track. And what are your non-negotiables? My non-negotiables are I definitely need um, my physical fitness, proper hydration, which is my Vita Jewel water. Um, and I think that there are times where I, I definitely need my rest. I need definitely need to sleep. Um, and my, I need to spend time with people that um, bring positivity into my life. Boy, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Plain and simple. Who embodies Foxy in your world right now, Kristen? Um, there's like a, a few a few women. I've got some great um, friends in my circle. They I, I've just moved to California six months ago, so I'm kind of just building up a network of friends um, down here. So if I'd say down here, one of the um, women that works in our office, Ruma, she's she's definitely a Foxy woman. She walks into her room and she's kind and she's giving and she definitely. Um, she brings, she brightens anybody's day. Uh, she looks at a positive outlook on things. Um, she doesn't bring any negativity to the workforce. Every time you come in, it's just a ray of sunshine. Um, I'd also say that um, some of my girlfriends back home in, in Saskatchewan, they definitely embody Foxy. They're hardworking. They're, um, they're always like reaching out, making sure that they keep in touch, even though I'm not located there anymore. Um, they're happy for me when I'm achieving good things. And then they're also, you know, there for me when I'm having a hard day. So those would be the people right now. Yes, indeed. What would be the one piece of advice that you could give to the Get Foxy Show listeners about how to stay foxy? How to stay foxy? Um, just figure out what your non-negotiables are. Like I think sometimes we don't have the, we don't take the time to um, identify them. And by identifying them, you have to write them down because otherwise they're just kind of thoughts that bounce around in your head. And when it comes down to not feeling so foxy or so good, um, you might lose sight of what you actually need. So write them down, keep them on a little post-it, um, positive words of affirmation. Look yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself three like compliments every morning um, and just roll with it that way because like many um, studies have shown um, positivity and like good words of affirmation, even if you're not believing them at the time, um, you'll come around to believing them and that confidence will carry you through. That's kind of like uh, some folks say, fake it till you make it. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, my my version of that is faith it till you make it. I like that so, 
That way, you know, you may not believe those words at the moment, but have faith that those words will resonate, that those words will yeah. eventually hit yeah. home. Have, have faith about it because, you know, when you say fake it till you make it, well, you know, it, it, it's kind of disingenuous, but yeah. faith it till you make it. And yes, that whole looking in the mirror and you know, positive self-talk is such a big thing. And there we go again with that, <laughs> with that connection between the water and the body and the mind and the spirit and how we're all, I mean, yeah. this is a holistic medicine. We're treating a whole person here. Yeah. And so this VitaJewel product does. I mean, it, it really does. It affects body, mind, and spirit. Now, of course, uh, that's my words. That's not necessarily your words. That's my words as a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, because I'm sure uh, there might be some legal <laughs> issues if I were to say, oh, yeah, Vital Jewel does this, does that. You, yeah. might, uh, you might slap my wrist a little bit. But as a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, I can say that this gem-infused water does have a holistic effect on the body. Absolutely. And it definitely is a way to help you reclaim more of your energy. And when you're feeling energetic and you're feeling good, then you're feeling foxy about yourself. And that has a ripple effect throughout your community. It affects your work relationships. It affects your home relationships. It affects your, your relationships with your kids. I mean, it all, it's this ripple effect. Yeah, it happens. is. One more thought I had that I'd like to kind of share if, you know, if I may, um, is um, one thing that I challenge listeners to kind of work on is a lot of times, um, have you noticed if you give somebody a compliment and they say like, oh, you look great today. And you're like, oh, thanks. I just don't feel very good. And then you like deflect the compliment by saying something negative. And so I challenge listeners because I think that I, I was even caught in falling into this trap. It was like, is always kind of deflecting the compliment. It kind of um, kills the compliment in a sense and kills that, the effect of positivity that can come out of it is get comfortable accepting a compliment from somebody or accepting a kind gesture from somebody. Just accept it, say thank you, and hold on to that and see how that affects you as opposed to saying something that's deflective on it. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is something when somebody gives you a compliment, this is like them extending a gift, a physical yeah. gift. They're handing it over to you saying, here, and if you, if you deflect that, then, you know, pretty soon they're going to say, you know what, this person doesn't necessarily like my gifts. So I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and, and shut down. And so it, it, it also shuts down the giver of the gift. Mm -hmm. So yes, accepting and receiving those compliments and just, you know, a simple thank you. And just yeah. take it in. <laughs> yes. Yeah, take it in. Because it actually feels good. And when I actually, when I stopped myself from deflecting compliments, it brought more positivity in my life as well. Yes. Well, Kristen, how can people get more information about VitaJewel? Well, you can go on to um, our website, which is www.store.vitajewel.us. So VitaJewel is V-I-T-A-J-U-W-E-L. Um, we actually have, we're launching a new website pretty soon in the next couple of weeks. So there's some exciting new um visuals and things that we're going to be sharing. Um, and you can purchase online. You can call us in our office in Concord. If you Google us um, in California, Vitajewel USA, you'll definitely be able to find us. Um, and yeah, you can, we don't have any like minimum purchases and we definitely um, will have some uh, specials coming up for Black Friday. So I don't want to say too much, but give too much away, but watch for it. Cause it's keep an eye out. Yes. Yeah. Perfect gifts for Christmas. Like what an amazing gift um, to give a Vita Jewel product to a loved one or for the family or, you know, as a anniversary or New Year's gift or Christmas or whatever you celebrate. Um, 
it's a it's a perfect gift for the holidays to have something like this to share. Fantastic. Well, Kristen, we are up on time. I again thank you so much for being on today and doing what you do and bringing more positivity into the world. God bless you for that. Thank you, Terry. Have a great day.